this video, we're going to look at advanced SQL queries and how they can be done in natural language. And we're going to be using large language models as previously shown in the other videos. We'll be using Langchain, which is a nice library that makes use of large language models to, to uh, yeah, provide natural language access to, uh, to certain technologies. And we'll be looking at you know, a particular table and how we can do joins and, and queries and aggregates with, um, with natural language. So uh, let's uh, just you know, install some dependencies. So we're using the Langchain dependencies. We're going to import it. Um, and we're also going to be using SQLite. This is the schema that we're going to create. Um, there is, we're going to look at electric car start, uh, charging stations. So we'll have a station that is identified by a number and then that station is in a city and it's a certain charger type the, such as AC and DC charging. And this will reference to you know, these uh, dimension tables here, right? So cities, we will not write a city name in here. We'll link it to a number and that number references in the city table a particular city. And then uh, the same thing with the charger type, which has essentially two entries, AC and DC. And then we're also going to be mapping which of these stations are available, right? So if a charging station is available and nobody's charging it, then we'll have a, the, the station ID mapped with a flag that says available. Okay. And so here is how we're going to create that schema. I'm going to just have a local SQLite connection. You can do that also with any relational database you, you know of, as long as you can um, uh, yeah, basically get that into, into Langchain. So normal Postgres database are all supported. So, and I'll just put that into a file here, right? I call it charging stations. I'll create the table, which is city, and it has our ID, which is our primary key, and city has a name. I'll create a very similar table called charger type with an ID and a name. And a name could be AC or DC for the AC or DC charging. I'll create a table station just as shown in the schema above, right? An ID, city ID, charger type ID. And these are foreign keys to the above tables here. And then I'll have another table that is available and it links a station ID to an available flag. So we'll say one is available, zero is unavailable. And if I run this cell, then everything, nothing uh, returns. So that means our table just gets easily, our uh, four tables get created. And now I'm going to create some data. I'm just manually inserting that, right? So I'm inserting five different cities that just came to my mind. They all have something in common. I have never been to either of them, but I'd like to go. So these are here. And then we have said charger type AC, DC, two entries in that table. Then I'm going to make a bunch of entries in charging station. So we'll see it's the ID and I'll just kind of, you know, increment that here. City ID, um, you know, one in this case would be uh, Hong Kong and uh, charger type ID one or two each, right? And then they're going to enter all these stations. And then the last chunk here is just mapping each station to either zero or one, depending on whether the station is available or not. So I'm going to run that and all the data is in the database now. And so now I can do all my uh, querying from it. So um, as in my previous video uh, where I've shown it, we'll create a, a, a chain, right? And so we're using OpenAI. So I have to get my OpenAI key set as an environment variable. And I'm going to create the uh, large language model using that key. And this is my database connection here, my SQLite database. So if I do all that, then I have the chain ready. Um, note, I'll rotate my key. You won't be able to use this one. You have to get your own key and that you can get at openai.com. So then I can start making prompts, right? So we'll make natural language prompts. And the first one is a very easy one, right? Um, or actually, seemingly easy, right? So you want to know how many stations are there in New York uh, City. So actually, um, 
This really tests whether Langchain or you know the large language model can find out that this requires a join, right? And yes, it does. So it makes a count uh, from station. It joins city on city ID equals ID where name is New York City. It's exactly that. So this is more complex than my previous video, right? This requires a join and some, some interpretation. It says there's one station in New York City. Um, now let's go one level higher, right? How many available stations are there in Tehran? Now this should now um, need two joins, right? So we'll see if if the large language model will find that out. And we'll see, yeah, here, it count from station join, uh, station city ID on ID, available on ID, city name should be Tehran, and available should be one. Totally figured that out and says basically what comes back is a count of three and the answer is there's three available stations in Tehran. And now, um, let's see. Um, here's what I'm actually gonna do a little bit more, right? I want to find out is there a station in Hong Kong that can be used to fast charge a car? This is my actual question. But now I actually have to provide some context. And that's maybe something that not everyone knows. The large language model actually might know it because it's been discussed, but DC charging is required for fast charging. So I kind of just put that into my prompt here. I say charger type DC is needed to fast charge a car. And with that information, I'll send it on with a question. And so that's kind of how you have to think about making language, natural language courage queries to, to databases, right? You have or you can provide extra information, extra context in the prompt. And that's what I'm doing here. And so it will create the join and really look for that DC, right? And um, it says, yep, yeah, there is a station in Hong Kong that can be used to fast charge a car. Perfect. And in that last one, I'll do that one more time, right? I'll say a charger type DC is needed to fast charge a car. A field available has to be one in order for the station to be available. Actually, it knew that already, but um, why not? Uh, and then I'm just gonna ask how many available stations are there in Mexico City that can be used to fast charge a car? And so we'll see if it comes up with the right query. Yes, yeah, okay, join city, charger type, available. It needs to be available one, charger type name DC, city name Mexico City, and it tells me the result is one, one comes back. So as you can see, you can make complex SQL queries, even if you have to do joins uh, with your aggregates, you can do that. And it helps to always provide some context and that context you can put into the prompt. And that is kind of the, the gist of you know, the, the, the skill of prompt engineering that is emerging currently, right? How to precise your, your prompt by adding additional context and exactly the context the large language model needs to come up with the right answer. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. If so, uh, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.